All right, hey collective, I'm back on here to come give you guys a general spread. Remember the spread that I have here is timeless, and like I said, it's also general. So if you are viewing this video right now, there definitely could be a message in here that you guys need to hear. Um, if it doesn't resonate, leave it for the next person. Don't forget to hit the like or the subscribe button. If you haven't already, come join me so we can grow the energy over here for you guys, all right? So we're gonna tap into this energy right quick, all right? So the first card we flew out is we have the chosen one card, all right? We have the shadow work, it in and out soul contracts. So I definitely feel like a lot of you chosen individuals, you are definitely doing some form of shadow work right now, okay, for a lot of you guys. You're definitely going through some type of spiritual awakening where you guys are in and out some form of soul contracts, okay? You guys are breaking some form of cycles here. It's some form of same cycle from past lives that you guys are breaking, okay? So you guys are definitely in and out a lot of past life contracts, soul contracts here, all right? A lot of you chosen individuals are definitely ascending right now, okay, to your higher self. You guys are ascending to the 5D energy, okay? By you guys clearing and breaking these cycles here, all right, for a lot of you guys, in and out these soul contracts is allowing you guys to ascend here, all right? And the song that's planned for you guys is graduation. So I definitely feel like a lot of you guys are learning a lot of lessons and it's allowing you guys to elevate here. Okay. All right. Um, we have the cleanse your energy also. So it's something significant about you guys, please cleanse out your energy because I feel like someone could be doing spell work here. Okay, I feel like somebody wants you guys to deal with a whole bunch of doubt and confusion. Okay, they want you guys to lack trust here. All right, um, and this could be around you guys trusting others here. Okay, for a lot of you guys, like I said, you guys are in and out any old energy and you're allowing new energy to come in here. Okay, so somebody wants you guys to deal with a whole bunch of mental conflict. Okay, um, when it comes to you guys trusting your inner voice, your intuition here. All right, also, someone is definitely trying to affect your emotions here. So someone could definitely be um, projecting some type of fear illusions um, to a lot of you guys when it comes to your sacral chakra and your third eye. So make sure you guys are definitely meditating, definitely working on them two chakras here, okay? All right, because someone wants you guys to be in the illusion of fear to hold back from taking a leap of faith, okay? Someone wants you to miss some form of opportunity. We had 222 on the clock. They want you to miss the opportunity around a new beginning because for a lot of you guys, this is what's coming in because a lot of you guys are doing a whole bunch of shadow work, okay? And you're in and out soul contracts to allow new ones to come in, like I said, okay? All right, someone wants you guys to miss this opportunity around these manifestations coming in. And for a lot of you guys, this could be you manifesting love and or abundance or both here, okay? Um, for a lot of you chosen individuals, but your spiritual team is here. Some of you guys could be seeing 444 a lot, all right? Your angels are all around you. I feel like whatever it is that someone is trying to do here, it's going to backfire, okay? That's because your spiritual team is protecting a lot of you guys, all right? Continue trusting your intuition for a lot of you guys because someone wants you guys to, like I said, be in some form of lack mindset where you're indecisive here, okay, for a lot of you guys. You could be a um, divine feminine or masculine that I'm speaking to. Um, some of you guys could definitely be some form of star seed also, okay, all right? Like I said, someone wants you guys to stay in some form of same cycle, okay, um, for a lot of you guys. And like I said, you guys are evolving right now to your higher self, okay, um, for a lot of you chosen individuals, we have three, three, three on the clock. All right. So make sure you guys are cleansing out your energy. Make sure you guys are also meditating. Okay. Um, for a lot of you guys. So this could be definitely karmic family. For a lot of you guys, this could be a karmic ex here, all right? Um, for a lot of you guys that's trying to interfere with you guys, like I said, moving forward, okay? It's all about you guys moving forward here. It's where I feel like somebody doesn't want you guys to do. This could be mentally, physically, financially, whatever it is for a lot of you guys. By you being in this energy, okay, it's bringing in a whole bunch of new things for you, a lot of positive good things, okay? Someone wants you guys to miss these opportunities here, okay? I'm also getting the letters NFA could be significant here first middle last name initials of you or someone involved here all right but whatever it is that they're trying to do like i said it's not going to work you guys continue moving forward okay all right because you guys are releasing a lot here okay and um like i said someone doesn't want you guys to release they want you to stay in the same cycle they don't want you to break some form of cycle okay for a lot of you guys so let's get some um additional messages out here so we have the wisdom of the divine feminine okay so you definitely could be a divine feminine um, for a lot of you guys. Like I said, some form of knowledge that you guys are gaining here is allowing you uh, divine feminists and masculines to move forward here. Okay. All right. 
So let's, what's this wisdom of the divine feminine? And I just seen the power of the divine masculine. You seen it? Look. We have the power of the divine masculine. Yeah. You can definitely be a feminine or a masculine, okay, that I'm, I'm speaking to. Someone could be trying to stop you guys. If you are a feminine and a masculine that I'm speaking to here, all right? Some of you guys could be in separation with your masculine or your feminine, okay? Um, I feel like someone's trying to stop a union here, okay? All right? Because when a divine feminine with a whole bunch of knowledge and a divine masculine with a whole bunch of power come together, okay? That's very powerful, okay? People are definitely trying to come in between that. This could be karmic energies, okay, for a lot of you guys. Like I said, someone doesn't want, um, you know, some form of a lot of you guys to break cycles here, okay? All right? This could definitely be past energies that does not want to let go. Well, I tell y'all, y'all going through the dark night of the soul, which means you guys are doing some form of shadow work, okay? I feel like a lot of you divine feminists and masculines that I'm speaking to, you guys are mirroring your counterpart right now. I feel like y'all both are going through some form of cycle where you're breaking cycles, okay, and ending out soul contracts, all right, um, for a lot of you guys. Definitely going through the dark night of the soul, we have the ascension, yeah. You guys are going through some form of spiritual awakening here, okay, for a lot of you chosen individuals, all right around whatever it is that's going on here. We have the trust in the plan here. Yeah, so it's something about you guys. Continue, look, I can't make it up. Look, past life activation. I cannot make it up, okay? All right? It's something about you guys. Please continue trusting in the plan right now, okay? Because I feel like y'all got so many interferences, all right? People do not want to energetically um, release a lot of you chosen individuals your energy, Okay, a lot of people do not want to end out soul contracts with a lot of you guys. Okay, um, but like I said, it's something about you guys are ending out cycles here. You're breaking cycles and it's allowing you guys to elevate to your higher self. So continue trusting in the plan right now. Okay, that's what I want to tell a lot of you chosen individuals because you definitely are definitely in and out some form of past life energy. Okay, I feel like a lot of you guys is something about you activating some form of past life. Okay. Um, for a lot of you guys. So let's see what else we can get out here. All right. Continue moving forward here. Okay. For a lot of you chosen individuals that I'm speaking to. All right. We have unplugged from mass consciousness. I can't never say that word. Okay. So you guys, like I said, you are stepping out of this card right here means you guys are stepping out the matrix. You are stepping in your 5D energy. Okay. All right, you're on a whole different frequency right now for a lot of you guys. And this is where you're headed to, okay, for a lot of you um, chosen individuals, all right? Now let's see what else we can get. We have the heart transmission, yeah. Something about you guys, please work on your heart chakra. Like I said, somebody wants you guys closed off emotions. They don't, they don't, they want you guys, when it comes to your emotions, to be cold, okay? They want you to not be in no um, giving and receiving or be open to giving and receiving energy, okay? All right, so something about you guys, please work on your heart chakra. I feel like also something about you guys, whatever this is that you're doing is definitely opening up the heart chakra, okay, for a lot of you guys. We have to hold your center, okay? Something about you guys staying focused, okay? Stay focused. Um, like I said, even though there's a lot of d uh, distractions going on, okay? It's all about you guys staying in the present, okay? All right, releasing past energy, okay, um, for a lot of you guys. Releasing any past energy, whatever that may be, mentally, physically, um, emotionally, whatever that is, is allowing you guys to evolve, okay? We have fifth rate of intellect, intellectual knowledge, okay? Yeah, see, fifth rate. Y'all stepping in that 5D energy, okay? Like I said, you have a lot of distractions, okay? All right, you have a lot of people mad about that, okay? Um, you got a lot of people worried about that also, okay? They don't want you guys to get there, okay, for a lot of you guys. But this is definitely where you guys are headed um, for a lot of you guys. And like I said, whatever is going on right now, um, for a lot of you guys, your angels and your ancestors are definitely protecting you, all right? Make sure you guys are, um, we have to ground yourself, okay? Ground your energy. We have to clean, look. And look, we have let go of the past, okay? This is what y'all are doing here, Okay? You guys are letting go of any past life energies, 
lives, soul contracts, whatever it is, okay? Make sure you guys are cleansing and detoxifying. Make sure you guys are grounding your energy, okay? Because I feel like there is some form of energetic um, interferences going on here, okay, um, for a lot of you guys. Someone's projecting some type of energy, and I feel like they're projecting fear, because for a lot of you guys, by you releasing the past is allowing some form of manifestation to come in, okay? All right, so make sure you guys are grounding your energy, okay? And like I said, it says let your past go, okay? Yeah, you guys are stepping into, and we have, there's nothing to worry about, okay? So if it is someone's doing some form of like spell work or it is someone who's trying to interfere, there's nothing for a lot of you chosen individuals to worry about, okay? Your angels and your ancestors are protecting you. You guys can continue, continue, okay? Trusting your intuition, okay? Continue trusting your intuition, okay? Keep moving forward, all right? We have steady progress, okay? Like I said, for a lot of you guys, like that card said, Trust in the plan, okay? Something is definitely coming together for a lot of you guys, okay? All right? You guys are definitely making progress around something here, all right? Whatever these cycles that you're breaking, okay? Um, I, I feel like somebody wants to put the illusion of your, that you're not here, but you are, okay? All right? What, whatever this is, we have the entrepreneur, okay? So this could be about you guys um, manifesting abundance around um, some form of opportunity. Some of you guys could be starting some form of business here that somebody wants you to lack trust about, okay? It's all about people or someone wants you guys to be in fear about moving forward here, okay, um, to the new, all right, for a lot of you guys, somebody wants you to fear the unknown, okay, um, for a lot of you guys, because we have to take that leap of faith. Somebody wants you to fear it, okay? This could be about new love. This could be about you um, coming to union with your um, counterpart here. This could be about you guys moving forward towards a new opportunity, a business idea, okay? All right, so something about you guys continue moving forward here, all right? Something definitely is happening here, all right? Something definitely is moving forward for a lot of you guys. We have noticed the signs, okay? So something about you guys, please pay attention to the signs here, okay? All right? Some of you guys have been receiving signs here, okay? All right? Um, some of you guys could be seeing the angel number 111 a lot, 222444. Um, I'm also picking up 555. Um, it also says we drop feathers, coins, and other signs upon, upon your path to remind you that you're loved and never alone. Okay, so some of you guys could be seeing a lot of feathers. You could be seeing a lot of coins on the ground. That is your angels to let you know that you are protected. So make sure you guys are please noticing the signs. Okay, something about you guys, please know that you are on the right path here. Even though you guys are dealing with major distraction here. And like I said, these are energies that do not want to end out contracts here. But by you guys breaking... um. By you guys breaking cycles, it's in and out contracts, okay? All right, so we had the sun card in the reverse that flew out here. So a lot of you guys could be in some form of contract around some form of job here to step into your entrepreneur type of energy, okay? All right, so this could definitely be um, interferences with a job here. We have Aries in the reverse that could be significant here. We have an Aquarius here that could be significant, all right? We have Pisces in the reverse here. We have Capricorn in the reverse here for a lot of you guys. We have Air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius here, okay? Could be significant. Let's get one more out here. We have an Aquarius again, 11-11 here. Yeah, it's all about new things coming in for you guys, okay? Um, this could be like um, some form of co uh, connection for a lot of you guys. This could be change in your um, stability, in your relationship status, okay? 11-11 speaks all about security and stability, Okay, for a lot of you guys. All right. So make sure you guys are cleansing out your energy. Okay, someone wants to put the illusion of fear into you guys. Okay. All right. So let's see what else we get out here. We have fire in the reverse here. We have Leo. Okay. Let's see if we can get one more. We have Leo again. All right. Five, five is change coming in. Okay. That's because you guys are definitely um, elevating here. It's change coming in. We have 555 on this ascending card here also. Yeah, things are changing, okay, for a lot of you guys. And that's because you guys are definitely um, elevating to some form of higher frequency, okay? So that means anything from the past, any soul contracts got to be released so you guys can step into this new energy, okay? All right, so let's see what else we can get out here. Let's see any additional messages we can get out here for a lot of you guys anymore, okay? 
I just seen that we have the anxiety in reverse. I also seen the contract in reverse. Yeah, you guys are in and out contracts here. All right. Somebody wants you guys scared. Okay. Somebody wants you guys dealing with a whole bunch of anxious energy. Okay. Make sure you guys also are working with your crystals here. Um, I also want to tell some of you guys, Sage, okay, um, a lot of that energy that you guys are feeling is not yours. Okay. 15, 15 on the clock. So somebody wants you guys to be dealing with a whole bunch of anxious energy here. All right. And look, we have the garden and the gate. All right. And this card speaks of a new beginning. Okay. For a lot of you guys, somebody doesn't want you guys to move forward. Okay. Because look on this card, how this, this, uh, this woman on here is looking unsure. Okay. To walk through that gate or not. Okay. So for a lot of you guys, please work on, um, your sacred chakra, um, your third eye. Okay. Also I want to pick up your crown, but we have the temple path. Okay. Yeah. Your angels are all around you. Okay. The temple path speaks of angelic protection. Okay. Look at all them orbs around here. Okay. For a lot of you guys, you're being protected from something here. All right. For a lot of you guys. All right. We have the woman holding the coin here. All right. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you have some form of, a, uh, you're manifesting abundance here. Okay. For a lot of you guys. All right. We have the storm warning in the, in, in the reverse. Okay. Yeah. Somebody has been trying to, whatever that, that's, uh, whatever they're trying to do, um, for a lot of you guys, it's something backfired. Because I feel like somebody tried to do something unexpectedly, okay, um, for a lot of you guys. They could have been trying to do some type of spell work here, all right? And we have the envy. Yeah, I feel like whoever this is, someone's envious that you guys are being presented with something here, okay? There's a lot of new doors opening up for a lot of you guys because you are clearing out old energy. Someone is envious about that, okay? Whoever this could be, could be a karmic ex, karmic family, um, karmic energies, whoever it may be. Someone's envious here, um, but we have the door to spirit, okay? Yeah. Your spirit team is protecting you, okay? From a lot of envious people, y'all, okay? A lot of people are envious that you guys are doing this work here, this shadow work, all right? People know that you're going to get some form of manifestations, all right? 17, 17 on the clock. They know that you got manifestations coming in because you're clearing out all this energy, okay? But your spiritual team is protecting you, okay? They're protecting you from whatever it is that they're trying to do, okay? We have blossoming abundance. We have the indecision in the reverse. Yeah. Some of you guys got some form of abundance that's blossoming. Like I said, you're manifesting abundance um, for a lot of you guys. Somebody wanted you guys to be indecisive here, okay? Indecision, all right? They don't, they don't want you guys not to trust your intuition, which is your inner voice here. But whatever it is that they're doing, your spiritual team is blocking it, Okay? All right. Somebody wants you confused on something here. All right. A lot of you guys. What's this indecision? Oof. We have door to value. Look, y'all. We have the corner copia. Then I tell you, it's a lot of doors opening up for a lot of you guys. Okay. All right. For a lot of you uh, chosen individuals, this could be corner copia, some some form of corner copia. All right. Something that you're going to be able to harvest off of. Okay. But you guys are having a lot of doors open up because you are knowing your worth here i feel like for a lot of you guys this this shadow work also is all about you guys knowing your worth also okay it's allowing things to open up for a lot of you guys um and like i said someone has been trying to stop this here we have the um strategy in the reverse here look here we have the strategy in the reverse we have door to personal healing and happiness all right this is where y'all headed to Whatever somebody has been trying to, um, I want to say, plan here, okay? Some form of strategy to keep you guys in fear. Um, like I said, from moving to the unknown is what I'm picking up here. It's, it's not working. It's backfiring, okay? It's backfiring. The storm, somebody tried to send you some form of strategy to keep you stuck or hold you back or to stop you guys from in and out cycles. It's backfiring. 19, 19 on the clock. You guys are headed to good energy. We have door to personal healing and happiness. Okay. This is where you guys are headed to. All right. Let's see what else we can get out here. Yeah. Y'all going to have a victory. Okay. All right. You're going to have a victory. All right. This is why I feel like for a lot of you guys that, where is that card at? It's nothing to worry about. Okay. 
Yes, there are people that's trying to interfere. Yes, you have karmic energies that are trying to distract you. Yes, they're trying to interfere. But there's nothing to worry about because your spiritual team, your angels are protecting you. Okay? You're going to have a victory. Okay? You're going to receive this manifestation, whether this is love, abundance, or both. You guys are receiving that. All you guys have to do is continue moving forward. Continue releasing here. Okay? Some of you guys get to see in 9, 9 a lot. Okay? Continue releasing. Continue in and out contracts here. Okay? Because it's allowing you guys to end out cycles so you can start new ones. 2020 was on the clock. Okay? All right? So that's what I have for you, Collective. Make sure you guys like and subscribe to my channel. I will speak with you guys in a minute. And I love y'all so much. Bye.